before we go, I'm going to have to ask you about something. <laughs> um, a tweet from a certain Mr. Liam Gallagher um, oh, yeah. early yeah. August. Uh, lovely day in the boozer with, I think it was the legend that is Fenners. Um, what happened on that day? <laughs> what was this? Have you known him for a while? Was... Well, I'd met during my days at soccer, the previous days at Soccer AM in the early, in the 90s. Uh, so I'd, I'd, I'd met, I'd met Noel on Soccer AM yeah. back in the day and then I'd met Liam at, at gigs um, uh, away to his gigs and and, and Noel and, and but no, Liam had never come on the show. Um, yeah. he, he was always like, I don't want to come on it. I watch, he says, I watch it every week and I love it, but I, I just don't, don't want to come on. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I hadn't seen him for probably 10 years, something like that. And the last time I saw him, I just bumped into him at a hotel and it, and then. Clark's got in touch with me and said, um, we're doing a documentary for 200 years of Clark's shoes. Mm. And um, obviously Liam's closely associated with Clark's and he wants you to do, or we, we'd like you to do the interview. Um, so I was like, yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, so we, so we shot it a couple of weeks ago um, yeah. and had a, did the interview had a chat uh sorry did so i did the interview about you know the did the work yeah. part which which was good good fun and then just sat around and, and hung out for a little bit with a you know a few people like from the set and the, the class guys and stuff and just had a had a couple of couple of halves of lager and uh and just chatted about you know like like we're chatting now about all kinds of things you know about yeah you know uh, you know, he was asking me about Soccer AM and this and that and, and whatever and stuff. And, you know, he was just telling loads of great stories. He's a, he's a, he's a great storyteller. Yeah. Um, did, did he tell you? Did he? No. Did he, no. no he, he, did, he not, I, did he not give any clues? Sure, no, he, he didn't at all. He didn't at all. And, and I wasn't, you know, I the thing with me is I'm not really like, I'm not, um, don't go I'm, not someone who, I'm not busy. I don't, I wouldn't go like, you know, like I never would, I, I wouldn't ask about people's personal relationships, things mm. like that, because it's like none of my business. You know, it's like I've got yeah. family and I've got I've got things that go on, but it's like, you know, um, it's someone else's business. So even though it's, you know, people are obsessed with that, it's like it was. It's like I always felt like I was respectful and I didn't cross the line and have those yeah. conversations. And it's just a bit. I don't know. I just might be a bit weird. Like, oh, what you didn't ask him, but the thing is, at the time, it's like wasn't it wasn't something that was sort of like and he gets asked, the, he gets asked that all the time doesn't right? he so it's like so he it's, probably uh, yeah. liked not being so yeah I, ju I just you know um i just came away and it was lovely it was a really nice day and then and then i i don't really go on twitter mm. anymore because it's just a i don't, I don't really like the That's vibe on there. <laughs> yeah and and someone had someone had sent me it and uh yeah. So I just messaged back saying, "I'll send you, you know, I when send me the royalties for the uh, the um, the <laughs> album, the story about yeah. the album. I don't know if you know the story about the album um, about Come yeah. On, you know, if you know that. But um, well, if you listen to the podcast FC Bullard, you can find out all <laughs> about it. Uh, um, so maybe I should just leave it there. But this, uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting, an interesting story." Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, feel free to share now. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll only tell you it if you listen to the podcast. Um, so I, I used to do uh, the, on Soccer M. Used to do a character, and it was like based on Jeff Stellin from Soccer Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he used to say he used to have. He, he's he's got a couple of like they're not his catchphrases, but he says things like "I mean, come on," and he goes "I mean, you know," he he says stuff like that. <laughs> So what yeah. I did is that when when I was doing the, the 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 sort of parody of Jeff, I put those two together and I was like, I mean, come on, you know, come. Yeah. And so it became like it became the catchphrase of my character. Mm. So this this you know this this wasn't like a one off. This was like every week on something. Yeah, 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 I remember the and, sketch. Yeah. And then I spot I spotted not, uh, Liam had started like writing, "Come on, you know," or, or, on on his tweets and things like that, and I was a bit like. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I was like, it's a <laughs> co coincidence. And then 
I was saying to people, have you seen this? It, it's, I know, I, I'm saying, I didn't know, but I was going, I'm telling you, he's watched Soccer AM, yeah. he's watched Soccer AM and, and he's having that, he's, he's taking it and he's he's having that mm. for himself and, and palming it off of his own. Not that I'm bothered at all, of course, but um, <laughs> mock, mock indigna, indigna, indignation. Yeah. And then the al- then the album comes out and it's called Come On You Know and I'm going, <laughs> I mean, like, any chance? I, I yeah. couldn't believe it. Uh, obviously, I was delighted about it, and uh, mm. you know we had a. But I, I'd never talked to him about it. I'd never, mm. I'd never, um, I'd never really. Yeah, you know, I wasn't. Obviously, I was ninety nine point nine percent certain that yeah. Jeff was the inspiration for it. But then I heard him on this podcast by the two Johnnies, who are these, um, the these Irish guys. guys. Who, yeah, yeah, they're brilliant, and they do this pod in uh, in Ireland. And he was on that, and he he was going. Yeah, and I was so they were going. So how do you how do you get the album title? And then Liam was like, "Oh, this guy on on Soccer Air and Fenners, he does his character, and he goes, come on, you know what I thought? I'm having that.'" And so I was like, "Yes!" I was running around going to Eddie. "Yes, you told you, I told you." So, uh, <laughs> Vindication, you got. <laughs> um, so I saw him the other day, and I was like, "Come on, royalties, come on, you know, send me PayPal, <laughs> get him in there." Yeah. Get him in I, there, d- I never day, put two and two thing. together because I knew the sketch and obviously the, the album title. And never yeah, yeah. So it's my it's my sort sort of like a little bit of a, my little claim to, to to fame or Jeff Jeff's claim to fame. Uh, yeah. But it's good. It's, it was it was nice. It was good. It's good. It's like a nice little nice no, little yeah. kind of a little bit a little bit of synergy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what what's your thoughts on the reunion? Will you be going? Are you are you. Um, hopefully, yeah. I mean, I, I tried to get tickets the other day. Um, like pretty much everyone in in the country, um, and I think within a year, you know, there might some might become available. You know, there'll be there'll be there'll be ways there'll be ways to find and ways to get them. Yeah. Um, so um, if not, we could just say, look, forget about the royalties. And just sort of <laughs> two sort tickets of that, to, uh, to Wembley, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think no, I think it'll be great. And mm. anyone who's got those tickets to the first night at Cardiff, I think it is, yeah, to see that moment when they, you know, they, oh, they, yeah, they, they come on, will be, will yeah. be, a, it'll be, a, it'll be a great yeah. moment. 